Amanda, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another BoxyCharm unboxing. For those of you who don't know what BoxyCharm is, BoxyCharm is a $21 a month beauty subscription service. I believe they are going up in price as of November 1st. I've been signed up with BoxyCharm for over a year and the box has always been worth it. I feel like it's a really great value. Well, this video is going up super late. Today is September 30th and we are almost in October, but I thought better late than never. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got in this month's box. I just had a really, really busy, hectic month this month. So my videos, I know, weren't super consistent. I only did like maybe once a week this month. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got in this month's box. As always, if you have not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let's jump right in. First item is the little pamphlet that it always comes with and this month's BoxyCharm theme is All Access with like a studio light right there. And then of course on the back is a description of everything in the box and how much it runs for. First item I see here in the box is this uh, Motive Brushes Pro by Royal and Langnickel. Says, Moda Pro takes Moda to the next level. This line features superior quality filaments and modern professional shapes. Use this kit to create endless on-trend eye looks. So it is an all eye kit, which I really like. I feel like I can never have too many eye brushes, especially when I like to do different looks. And I have bought Moda Pro brushes before, like at Walmart, and they were all really great quality. And I've gotten a Moda Pro brush from BoxyCharm, I believe, and I really do use it on a regular basis. So first one here is the BMX 466, and it says apply color to your lid or use as a smarter blending brush to soften harsh lines. This one I could definitely see myself using after I already plowed like my outer shade just to blend them two together. Next we have the crease brush. This says define and blend the crease or use to buff over your entire lid. This is a little bit bigger than I would normally use for a crease brush, but I'll definitely try it out or if anything, use as a, just a regular blending brush. All of these do feel really soft. Next brush we have is the 420 Detail Brush. It says the pointed tip on this eye brush is ideal for applying eyeshadow or highlighting your inner corner. I don't see this usually as like an owner corner one so much, but I can see this one. I would, I think I would use this more for like my lower lash line or even to like really pack on the color on the lid. Next we have the smudge brush. This is the perfect size for applying color on your upper and lower lash line or smudging eyeliner for a soft, smoky look. I don't really smudge my eyeliner too much. When I do do eyeliner, I do like it to be more pointed, but I can't see myself actually using this one like an inner corner shade. And last but not least, we have the line 498 brush. It says expertly line upper and lower lash line with the chiseled edge. Also ideal for filling in brows. This one is really like thin. So this one I would probably use like for brows, maybe for liner, but mostly I think I would use this for brows. And it does says that this kit retails for $27.95. So I think that's a really good price for five eye brushes. This item is from Hank and Henry. And it says, what is this? This is a blackity black long wear liquid liner. Um, I don't apply a lot of liquid liners from a pin like this, so I think I'm not gonna open this up so I can give it to a friend or maybe use like as a giveaway. So I'm gonna leave this sealed, but let's read about it. It says, introducing our latest addition to the Slick With It line of eye products. Our eyeliner is a vegan liquid formula that dries down to a satin matte finish. This formula is extremely long wearing and transfer resistant, which is perfect for those with hooded eyes. I really like the name Blackity Black. 
that's kind of cute and it just says that this retails for $20 which is affordable it's not super expensive again I'm not gonna open this up just because I don't reach I have other ones and I found myself I don't reach for pin eyeliners that are pointed like this I'm more like to use like a brush or like a paint pot and dip it in so I'm not gonna open this up next is the eyebrow pin this is from the brand billion dollar brow oh Oh, sorry. Almost dropped it. And it says it's a micro micro blade effect. Oh, it's weird. So let me get you to focus in on that. It has like three ridges on it, which is really different. That is the shade swatched right there. So it is a really good color, I think, for me. It says this brow pin mimics the look of actual brow hairs to get a great microblade effect without the blade. It can be used to define a very bold brow or create natural looking brow hairs for a more subtle look. This long lasting formula will last for an all day look and it says it retails for $18. I'm kind of excited to try this out. I want to try it out when I have like no brows on just to get like the full effect but it, I did get the shade a taupe so taupe is supposed to be like the universal shade that goes with everybody I'm not sure that this one will go with everybody especially those with like really dark hair next item is the item I think I am the most excited about this is from Too Faced and is the natural face it's a bronzing highlighting and blush palette i believe and it's funny because i was actually gonna pick this up at work not too long ago and i'm glad i didn't because now i got it in the box so this is the packaging it is really cute has like a very like a vintage vibe to it and it is kind of like a dome right here it is lifted and let's open her up oh it's really cute look it has a little heart right there I don't own a lot of Too Faced stuff. I don't know why I just never like buy Too Faced. I think I have like the Too Faced primer, setting primer, and like the um, eyelid primer. But other than that, I don't really have like too much like of their eyeshadow palettes or anything. I don't think I actually own an eyeshadow palette from Too Faced. Let me show you guys what this one looks like. That one is really pretty. So it has two highlighters two blushes and then two bronzing shades in here it says says fall in love with the first face palette that uses your own natural beauty to luminize adding a bronzing veil and create a flirty flush making all your effortlessly beauty dreams come true this velvety soft formula is infused with hydrating cocoa butter and includes multi-dimensional shades that can be worn all over the face to take your natural beauty game to the next level and it says that this retails for $44 which is more than the box itself I really do reach for like stuff like this we got the tart tartiest uh, face palette in a couple months like a couple months back and I reach for it all the time just because it's very convenient to get ready for work really fast and not have to dig through what blush I'm going to use I just reach for that palette so I'm going to be trying this out and maybe look for it in a future video to see what my thoughts on it are this blush is a little bit like more vibrant than I normally would reach for but I'm loving this shade definitely see myself reaching for that love both of the br the highlighting shades and both of the bronzing shades I'm gonna give you guys a swatch of the two highlighters just because I really want to try them out they do have a little bit of chalkiness to them but they are really pretty very wearable colors for me alrighty last but not least in the box this is from Dr. Brandt's this is the Recovering Sleeping Mask says deeply hydrates and moisturizes to reduce redness and signs of irritation. So I do get like redness kind of like in my cheek area. So I'm definitely excited to try this out. I have tried other other <laughs> I have tried other Dr. Brandt's items and I've been really happy with Dr. Brandt's skincare. So I'm very excited to try this out. 
since it retails for $52, which is expensive, especially like the amount that you're getting. It says, a hydrating, recovering, sleepy mask that balances skin's natural occurring flora and locks in moisture overnight to reduce redness and soothe signs of irritation. smells minty so that was everything that i got in this month's box i see a lot of great items i'm really excited about the makeup brushes very excited about these really excited and this is also excited about the face palette it is really cute what do you think of this beautiful it's really pretty i love the packaging on it um excited about the dr brands as well. well if you've been on my channel for a while you know i do have drier skin especially around my nose area right here so i'm excited to see what this does for my skin this was a really great box with a really good value altogether everything is 161 dollars and 95 cents which is more than like four times the value of the box so the box is really worth it they are coming out with a lot of newer stuff i know they have boxy charm has like add-ons now that you can do they have the boxy lux um a lot of new stuff for boxy charm that i be 100 percent honest i haven't exactly looked everything up so i am gonna do that in the near future so by the time next box comes around i can give you guys more info but yeah guys that was it for today's video let me know down below if you have boxy charm what you got in your box and what were your favorite items if you have not subscribed already please make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye guys